So hi, I'm Preston Salen. Uh, I'm a home inspector and an artist and uh, welcome to my vlog. Uh, this is vlog number one and uh, we're gonna just go on a typical day of uh, me marketing my home inspection business and uh, just what I have to do. I hope, I hope you find it interesting. Uh, so we're gonna start out, uh, it's about 5.30, so uh, we're gonna start out, try to get a little work out in. So um, we've got to load stuff up on the truck, uh, our marketing material. So let's uh, let's go in the garage and do that. But, uh, um, the garage is kind of a mess because we were building the fence out there, so the dog has had to stay in the garage because he would eat the fence, people. Uh, so got to with the fence is now done. Um, but we've got to get this garage cleaned back up. But anyway, I'm going to get all my marketing stuff. Uh, I've got to market in Charlotte and in Raleigh today. Um, loaded up because I'm actually driving my spare truck. Um, and I have to put it in the garage so it doesn't get rained on. The reason I'm driving my spare truck is my Explorer at the storage over Memorial Day weekend. Somebody broke into it. They busted my window. Um, that's supposed to to be getting fixed today but uh man it's 318 dollars or something like that to fix that they broke into it I, nothing i mean there's nothing in there a bunch of receipts and stuff in the console that was it they scattered it all over the place felt kind of bad about it but you know some other people got it worse than me there's one car that was there they broke all four windows i uh, they broke into a bunch of storage units they broke into mine too but they didn't I had like a tiller, an aerator, and stuff like that. They didn't take any of it. But anyway, we're going to uh, start loading up all the marketing material on the truck. You know, here's another look inside my car before it gets fixed. Um, they busted the window. I love that sound. Let's see if I can pull that out. Sorry. They busted my window. It was, I wish I would have taken it the day it happened. But uh, they went through. They rifled through my console. And I just had a bunch of receipts. It was scattered out. It was a big old mess. But, uh, man, it just you kind of feel violated, you know. But anyway, hopefully that will get fixed today. So uh, we've had, uh, we packed up the truck and we've uh, did our little workout. So uh, we're gonna get some breakfast. These are all the, it's our little fridge in here. The, all the places we've been, we put a, uh, we get a magnet, like you can see the one from Chicago um, over several, several years. Every time we go somewhere, we get a magnet. But anyway, let's get a, uh, some breakfast here to hopefully uh, be good for our, uh, hope that's focusing. Um, this is for, uh, it's supposed to be protein, supposed to be good for you. So, um, hopefully that'll level off our workout and the nachos I'm probably going to have for lunch. So, uh, let's, uh, open up and yum yum. Alright, so, uh, we're going to get a little bit of coffee this morning. Um, let's grab one of these, uh. House plan. Didn't have any. Uh, let's see, that's an old one. Get that one out. These Keurig things. I love them. Wish we had some hazelnut. I know. Make fun of me. It's my wife's coffee cup. All the rest of them are in the washer. But uh, let's get some coffee going here. Ready to brew. Yes, ready to drink. Let's go. Um, hopefully that'll get my day started here, and we'll get going. All right, it's time to choose uh, some pants. <laughs> Years ago, I wore khakis like everybody else. In fact, I still have them. See, here's all the khakis. 
And, you know, your choices on that are, hey, which shade of khaki will I wear today? Well, forget all that. I decided, to, you know, life's too short to wear boring pants. So this is my pants selection today. And they, some of them are in the wash, too. So I don't know if they'll go with the mustaches or polka dots or, you know what, I think that looks like it's calling my name today. We'll go with that one. Alright, so uh, I went with the, uh, the crazy pokey dotty thingies. You can see, I gotta get my shoes out of the car though, they're from yesterday. Uh, so, anyway, this is the outfit I decided to go with, and we are going to go market. So, uh, heading into uh, School of Real Estate uh, to market a real estate class. Got all my marketing stuff, got all my crazy pants. And uh, we are ready to go. So, uh... so this is pretty much my life today. Uh, I'm driving uh, three hours to Raleigh to do a little marketing, and then driving uh, three hours back to Charlotte. I know that's really dark, and I probably shouldn't be filming while I'm driving, so I'll shut it off here in just a second. But uh, you know, we do home inspections in Charlotte. We're expanding to Raleigh, so uh, I have to market that uh, area as well. So I am uh, sponsoring a class today. I probably won't be hitting any offices today, but I I'll probably do that again some more next week. Um, calling for some rain today. Um, it's been really hot, but anyway, fun, fun life that I've got. I'm glad I'm not getting my regular truck back because this thing's so small. Um, anyway, hopefully they'll fix the glass, uh, whether people broke it or whoever. All right, so uh, I'm going into the McCrimmon Center, McKinnon Center here at NC State University, sponsoring second class. Uh, got my wagon, red wagon, which fits the NC State. Um, son of my brother went here, my wife went here. <coughs> I was a Carolina fan, but I do like NC State. So you can see where we're going, the James E, James, ah, James S. McKimmon Center. We're gonna sponsor another class here. So we're uh, coming up in the uh, NC State campus. Um, like I said, my brother went here. Um, my wife went here. Uh, I like NC State, but I grew up a Carolina fan. I went to UNC Greensboro. But um, I sponsored a real estate class today uh, at the McKimmon Center. So I thought I'd come by here. Um, this is Hillsboro Street, which is kind of like uh, the happening street if you go to NC State. Uh, I had friends that went back here back when Jim Valvano was the coach and, uh, and this was the place. I think the best part's further on up. This is actually kind of new down here. But um, okay, coming up on the NC State campus, I remember coming up here uh, with some of my friends and my brother. Um, this is where, you know, they went to school and down here is kind of like the happening place. I remember when NC State would be in the, um, in the finals, this was like the place to go. Um, they would win. They obviously, they won it all in 83 and actually 75 too. That was before my time. But, uh, I was up here like in the late eighties, early nineties while when Bob Otto was still here. They'd win a couple of games in the tournament. The students would just take over the street. Um, so yeah, this is uh, should be coming up on that tower here pretty soon. Um, uh, probably shouldn't be doing this while driving, but we've got it mounted. Um, yeah, here's like all the like kind of trendy hipster like places. So I came up here with my brother. Central part of the campus here. Um, 
textbooks. Um, NC State's a good school, more than likely. It's kind of like for the things my daughters want to major in. This is probably where uh, the best school uh, for the you know for the price and in state. It's probably where they'll wind up going as well. Ah, it's actually grown quite a bit since I was up here, with my brother. Should be coming up on the um, on the tower. Here it is. It's the NC State thing. Oops, might walk in there. Careful. Uh, so I'm headed back from Charlotte now. Ooh, that is dark. Uh, I'm, I'm headed back to Charlotte. I'm almost done. Uh, it's about 6.30, uh, long day in Raleigh, uh, marketing, and I will be heading home. I'll try to do one last thing. I want to show you kind of like what I was marketing with our, uh, our uh, fi fix the small stuff and our um, seller's inspection checklist. Oh man, I shadow what? I'm Preston Town with Home Inspection Carolina. Um, I wanted to uh, go over something that uh, I kind of came up with while studying with my daughter for a science test. Uh, we were studying for a test and she says, well daddy, isn't a home inspection kind of like a, um, a test for the house? And I said, well yeah, it, sure it is. She said, well do they know what to study? And I said, no, but they should know. And uh, so that's where we came up with this. This is a seller's inspection checklist or a study guide, so to speak, um, for your sellers um, to go over before the home inspection. I promise you that if they'll go through this, the test or the home inspection will go a lot smoother. There's 40 items, they're pretty self-explanatory. You're welcome to have this for free. Uh, you can go to my website at homeinspectioncarolina.com and you can download this as a PDF, I think it's a PDF, but you're welcome to put your information on it, you're welcome to put it on, you have my permission to do whatever you like. Um, we're just trying to make this process easier and trying to be helpful. Um, you know, if we can get these items taken care of, the inspection process will go a lot smoother. Now don't do it the night before the test. Start out about a week before. Um, speaking of which, I talked to a lot of real estate agents and they say that uh, uh, home inspectors nitpick a home inspection. And you know, it dawned on me that things like cracked cover plates, uh, missing cover plates, things like that, rubbing doors, sticking windows, things like that. Um, by the time an inspector takes a picture of it, puts it on the report, puts it on the summary, puts it on the repair request, da, 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 we could have just fixed it. So I, I talked to all my inspectors and I said, well, you know, what are some of the items we could fix in five minutes or less, little to no cost? And things like missing cover plates, cracked cover plates, rubbing doors, sticking windows, uh, you know, the uh, insulation on the uh, Freon lines. So we all have toolboxes and we carry the stuff, with, uh, the list that we came up with we could fix. And when we see that, instead of putting it on the report, taking a picture of it and all that, we just fix it. It's called fix the small stuff. It's just easier. Um, we can actually fix it faster than we can document it. Uh, it makes everybody's life easier. And trust me, we'd rather use a screwdriver than a keyboard any day. So if we can take 10 to 15 items off the repair request, makes your job easier, makes our job easier. Um, so again, uh, if you guys would like this seller's inspection checklist, that you can use with your sellers. You have my permission to use it. Download it. Uh, put your information on it. Go to homeinspectioncarolina.com and download it. Thanks a lot. Lord, just my baby and me. Sunny skies far as I can see. I am a coconut tree.